Hello my friends, this is Amner Hunter from AmnerHunter.com. Happy to spend some time with you on this video. This time around, I am going to be checking out more than 25 free plugins from the company Audio Damage. Audio Damage is giving away for free the legacy versions of the plugins, some of them very legendary, released many many years ago. And in this video, I am going to be testing out, also I am going to explain briefly about each one of these tools. You will find here some special effects, plugins, delays, reverbs, chorus, flangers, also some synthesizers and drum machines, also some mixing tools such as compressors, distortion plugins, things like that. As usual, all of the applicable links are going to be down below in the description and first comments and don't forget to check out the timestamps as well that I leave you down below for each one of these tools. Before we dive deep into the content, my friends, I would like to invite you to my website amnerhunter.com where you can get some additional freebies. I have some free PDF guides and ebooks for music producers, such as the guide on how to make more music in 30 to 60 minutes a day, the eight step mixing checklist using only free plugins, and also the number one rule and law of home studio recording. Additionally, I have some free tools available such as a huge collection of guitar impulses, a brand new drum sample pack for rock and metal sound among other utilities and finally, don't forget to check out my blog and this channel which I'm updating weekly with tons of free content. So now, let's get straight into the video, shall we? The first plugin on this list is the 907A filter bank that includes low pass and high pass filters and also several band pass filters that are recreation of a Moog synthesizer, the module 907A. This is a faithful recreation of that module of that synthesizer. So let's take a listen to the sound of this plugin. This is the 914. It's also a recreation of the module of that Moog synthesizer, the 914 module. It also comes with low pass and high pass filters and a ton of control over the frequency spectrum with these band pass filters that you have in the middle. It also comes with two knobs for wet level and dry. Let's take a listen. The next plugin on this list is the AD Verb. This is a vintage plate reverb plugin. It comes with pre delay function, reverb time, as well the size of the room. It also has a roll off, a low pass filter right here. You have an input level and an output mix, the diffusion control. You get pretty cool presets here that you can use to start. And you have also a low and high control for the EQ curve of the reverb. Let's take a listen. Next up, we have the Automaton plugin. This plugin allows you to add artificial life to any sound. That's what they claim in the product description. And it includes four different kinds of buffer effects, stutter, module, bit crush, and replicate. On each module, you get different controls that you can manipulate to change the sound in many artificial ways. You have also different presets that you can choose from. Let's take a listen to the complexity of this plugin.
Next up, we have the Axon plugin, which is basically a drum machine with some experimental sounds. Here you can choose the different parts of this drum machine and you can change different aspects of it. The pitch, the timbre. You have also down below here some faders of uh, the different voicings and the different aspects of this drum machine. Also a delay effect and a master output and you get also some presets here that might get you started let's take a listen Next up, we have the basic plugin, which is a subtractive synthesizer. It has three oscillators that you can manipulate the tune and the level and also the shape of the waveform. You have some filters as well, the amp envelope, filter envelope with different parameters, attack, decay, sustain and release and also the LFO with speed synchronization. You have also some cool presets that might get you started. Let's take a listen to this synthesizer. <laughs> Next plugin on the list is the Big Sec 2, which is a rhythmic gate. It has a modulation sequencer here. Basically, it will open and close the gate based on rhythmic patterns. You have also different types of routing, BCA, filter, distort, delay, frequency, and bits. You have a master output control. Let's take a listen. Next plugin on the list, it's the Bitcom. This is a bit crusher. So basically you reduce the number of bits in the audio, right? And this uh, reduction of bits will basically reduce the quality of the audio, will degrade the quality of the audio. You have here this main window with the uh, bits that are reducing from 16 to 1 bits. You have also some synth options here to tune fine shape level, the sequencer part and also the levels which includes a mix knob also and the master output control. You have also some pretty cool presets that you can choose from. Let's take a listen on these drums. Next plugin on the list, it's the Deverb, which is an abstract reverb plugin. It includes pre-delay room size as well. Then you have the section of the filters with high pass filter resonance. And this is the high pass and low pass, very useful in reverb plugins. You have also the MIDI function, note to infinity, note to gate, and wheel to size that you can turn on and turn off like this. And you have a wet and dry knob as well that you can also disable by clicking on these buttons. This plugin doesn't come with presets. Now let's take a listen to it.
Next plugin on the list is the Discord, which is a pitch shifter. You're going to alter the pitch with this knob. You have also a delay section with feedback filters and also the delay time. You have also the MIDI functions and you have also a wet and dry that you can disable by clicking on these buttons. Let's take a listen on this lead guitar. The next plugin on the list is the Discord 3, which is an update of the previous plugin. It's also a pitch shifter plugin, but it includes a ton of advanced features. You get here tons of cool presets. You have three modes, vintage, clean, and granular. You have here also the delay in the left, the delay in the right, and also filters, and the LFO for the left and for the right. You have an input and output at the bottom and also a mix knob. Let's take a listen. The next plugin on the list is the Doctor Device, which has two main modules, the filter section and the delay section. This plugin will combine these two couple of effects to create very cool spacious and ambient sounds and filters. You have independent controls for each one of these, frequency, resonance, type, and gain, also soft saturation and bit crushing, and on the delay section you have the left and right delay with mix and also two separate filters. These XYZ controls are based on popular hardware that contains these XYZ controls. You have some advanced motion controls here, connect, mode, and kinetics, and the time, and the input and output level at the bottom. Right here, you can move with your mouse this dot that you have in the center and you're going to alter the filter to create very interesting effects. Let's check it out. Next plugin on the list, it's the Dub Station. It recreates a ton of delays from popular hardware modules. It has four sections, the input, which has a high cut and low cut. It also comes with a drive control. You have the delay section, which is uh, this knob is the time. Then you can duplicate the time and you can also synchronize it with the tempo of your DAW, the regenerate section. You have the dry wet knob and finally the output control. It also comes with some cool presets. Let's take a listen. The next plugin on the list, it's the filter station. It's basically a filter. You have two filters in one and you can combine the filters up here in this graphic interface. You can move around this couple of filters and alter different aspects of it. The frequency, the resonance of each one, the LFO as well, the envelope attack and envelope delay. You have also some cool presets available in this plugin. Let's take a listen.
The next plugin on this list is the Fluid one. This is a chorus plugin with delay, the rate, the depth, and also the feedback and the mix knob with dry and wet. It also comes with a couple of cool presets that you can choose from. Let's take a listen. Next plugin, it's the Fuzz Plus 3. This is a distortion plugin. You have also a filter right here and also the resonant frequency. You have a feedback and an output control. You have also four presets to choose from. Let's take a listen. Next plugin on the list, it's the Combinant DVA. This is a multi-band distortion. You can distort the lows, the mids and highs separately. It also has a filter section, a feedback section with decay and attack and also the input and output level. It also comes with a compressor and different types of distortion as well. You have this visual interface also where you can see the bands and the crossovers from the three bands and you have also some presets to choose from. Let's take a listen. Next plugin on this list, it's the Liquid, which is a flanger plugin, but this plugin doesn't work only by delaying the original signal in different ways. This plugin recreates very accurately the use of two tape machines to have that double tracking effect. These types of plugins are perfect to stereoize a mono signal. You have the rate, depth, the manual control here and the feedback and offset. It also comes with a couple of presets. Let's take a listen. Next plugin, it's the Mangle Verve, which includes several processings includes reverb filter it can be used also as a transient shaper because you have here also the envelope part which alter the attack of a signal and also the decay of a signal you have the individual controls for each section you have also a mix control for the reverb and also a mix control for the general processing of the plugin it comes with pretty cool interesting presets let's take a listen The next plugin it's called Pan Station and this one it's an auto panner basically. It will alter the way that things are being panned on the left and all the way to the right part of the stereo spectrum. You can sync the auto panning with the host with your DAW. You have different types of modes that you can choose from here in the pan low. Equal power, M500, equal dist. 
and linear, equal power, and also the pan shape, ramp, steps, triangle, tri sine wave, etc. Also, the trigger source it can be free, it can be audio, and you have also some presets to choose from. Let's take a listen. Next plugin on the list, it's the Phosphor. This is an additive synthesizer. You have primary oscillations and secondary oscillations, the envelope of the waveforms for each one of the oscillators. And you have also independent controls, cross modes, noise, velocity, panning level, etc. And also the delay in the left and filter for that delay and a delay on the right. And you have also the controls of each one of the oscillators here on the right. You have a delay mix control and also an output control. And it also comes with pretty cool presets. Let's take a listen. Next plugin on the list, it's the Ratchak Reverb 2. This plugin is not much more a reverb than it is a delay plugin. And Audio Damage recreated this uh, unit from back in the day. It comes with a microphone control and a delay control, the repeats, and also the depth. You turn on and turn off the plugin here. You have also a couple of presets to choose from. Let's take a listen. The next plugin on the list is the Ricochet. This is basically a multi-tap delay. It comes with pretty interesting uh, presets to choose from. It comes with pre-delay time, feedback, filter, grid size, the mix control very useful, and the output level. It has the option to display this interface as a grid or with these modules. It can be synchronized to the tempo of your session. Let's take a listen. Next plugin on this list, it's called Ronin, and it's a multi effects plugin with delays, filters, also LFO and envelope controls. Also includes saturation. You can route the internal processing of this plugin in many different ways with this control routing section and audio routing. Pretty interesting. You can combine the effects as you want, and you have tons of options on the individual effects. You have also tons of cool presets to choose from. Let's take a listen. Next plugin on this list is the Rough Rider Pro, which is a multi band compressor. You have the low section, you have the mid section, and the high end section of the compression. You have the usual controls ratio, attack, release, sensitivity knob, and makeup gain for each one of the sections. And you have also the input gain reduction and output meters here. You have here the crossover frequency, you have an input and output here, and you have also some presets to choose from. Let's take a listen.
Next plugin on the list, it's the Tattoo one. This is a percussion synthesizer. You have tons of control over the individual parts of the drum kit. For instance, the kick drum, you have tunes, saturation, noise frequencies, pitching envelopes you change here the different parts of the drum kit that you wanna affect and you have also some basic levels and it comes with a compressor as well you have some presets to choose from for different genres here let's take a listen The last plugin on this list, it's the Vapor, which includes Chorus and Reverb. You have the rate, the depth, and the delay time, the diffusion, and also a mix knob, which is very useful, and also a control to low cut or high pass the signal. You have also some presets to choose from. Let's take a listen. Please let me know down below in the comments, my friends, what are your thoughts on this audio damage plugins? Do you have any favorite? Uh, have you used any of these plugins before? Let me know. I will be more than glad to read your opinions about this topic. Before we go, my friends, I would like to invite you to my website, amnerhunter.com, where I have some freebies for you. You can get some free PDF guides and ebooks for music producers and guitar players. Also have some free tools available, a huge collection of guitar impulses a new drum sample pack for rock and metal sound, among other utilities. And finally, don't forget to check out my blog and this channel, which I'm updating weekly with tons of free content. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it very much. I will see you very soon on the next one. All right, take care.